Joining me now, Matthew Bunny, economist with Westpac. Uh, and Matthew, can I just start by asking you, there's a broad assumption right now that business and consumers, uh, you know, they're going to bounce back immediately, rebound, in fact, uh, once lockdowns end. Is there anything underlying that economically that you're seeing right now that means that that presumption might come true? Look, Ross, encouragingly, business and consumer confidence has held up quite well relative to what we saw in the national lockdown last year and the Victorian lockdown uh, in late 2020. And, of course, we know business and consumer confidence is critical uh, when restrictions lift, that uh, business is going to hire and consumers are going to spend. So that is encouraging. On the, on the flip side, I would say we are dealing with a bit of a different set of circumstances this time around. Of course we will probably be reopening with high case numbers, unlike in the past. You know, we've, we've moved to learning to live with the virus. This could mean consumers are a bit more tentative about getting back out to shops and restaurants. We also know businesses are feeling the pinch from another round of lengthy lockdowns, particularly those in sectors that are vulnerable, like hospitality and tourism. And lastly, we also know that government support this time around has been more targeted. So that could mean the bounce back is softer than what we saw previously. But that being said, the Reserve Bank has given every indication that it will keep effectively the, the money presses going, the printing presses going with quantitative easing. It might eventually be tapered, but it's still significant support. The government is still out there wanting the economy. Neither of them want the economy to fall back into recession. That, that almost gives you some sense that really, if you like, all of the, the mechanisms for, for confidence are, are sitting out there in the economy once the doors are opened. It's an encouraging sign we still have a lot of policy support coming through. We did see the RBA has pressed ahead with its plans to taper bond purchases slightly uh, from this month. But really, as you highlight, we're still seeing a lot of support. The cash rate is going to remain low, the RBA continues to emphasise, until 2024, uh, because they want to make sure that we get out of this hole we're in. And, of course, we also know we're still seeing widespread government support as well, which will support businesses and consumers as we move through this challenging period. And much has been made also of the spending power of consumers, but also the spending power of business as well. Balance sheets of businesses have largely been, been repaired over this past couple of years. You've also got a situation where consumers, households have saved significant amounts, house prices have risen, so they have got spending power. Uh, and the argument right now is if they are prepared to use that spending power, that's the reason why the confidence might be there when the doors are opened. That is a critical question for the outlook. We know the RBA has underscored it is a big uncertainty what will happen with household spending. As you flag, households have built up large saving buffers. It might sound surprising that would happen in a pandemic, but when people can't spend money and the income is still coming in, it means their bank balance is going up. Maybe they've opted to pay down their mortgage or other debts. But so there is this wave of money which is sitting out there ready to get unleashed when we reopen. It's going to be a matter of how quickly that money is unleashed as to how quickly we bounce back. Yeah, and, and tell me, I mean, you saw the United States talking also about tapering. Australia, you mentioned, is going towards that way. This is not stopping the support. It's just easing it off slightly even, if the truth be known. You know, when do you imagine that the conditions are right for central banks here and around the world to really start to ease off this support for the economy in a big, big way? Is it inflation that's the key here? Is it uh, employment? What, which is the key measure people should watch? Central banks are going to be watching both of those indicators very closely, both employment and inflation. As you flag, the Fed has noted they're going to probably start pulling back uh, support a little bit from later this year, reflecting the strong momentum in the economy up until the recent Delta outbreak, but also confidence that the economy will bounce back quickly once we move through this difficult period. So central banks will be keeping a close eye on how we move through this period of uh, kind of recovery to expansion. And they want to make sure that, as the RBA governor has said, they maintain that bridge, they build that bridge to get through this difficult period out onto the other side. It's going to be fascinating to watch exactly what transpires. Matthew Bunny from Westpac, I appreciate your time here today. Thanks, Ross.